almost 13,000 people refused entry to Canada from US during pandemic. Here's a summary of the article. Nearly 13,000 travelers have been denied entry to Canada from the US since border restrictions were put in place in March. Between March 22 and July 22, a total of 12,997 foreign nationals were not allowed to enter Canada, as their travel was deemed non-essential, according to data requested by the Richmond News from the Canada Border Services Agency. More than half of the U.S. citizens in question were refused entry for reasons unspecified by the CBSA. Many of those denied entry were traveling by land, rail or marine transport, although some were arriving to Canada via air. The remaining 1,676 travelers denied entry at the border were citizens of other countries who were coming via the U.S. Meanwhile, another 277 travelers arriving in Canada directly from other countries, were denied as they did not meet the respective standards of entry, according to CBSA. A spokesperson for CBSA said the agency was not able to provide provincial or regional data. The agency announced earlier this week that it is now cracking down on the so-called Alaska loophole, through which Americans are reportedly entering Canada under the guise of traveling to Alaska, in order to visit and vacation in BC. The new rules kicked in at 12.01 a.m. Friday. Stricter rules and additional entry conditions will be imposed on travelers' transients through Canada to Alaska for a non-discretionary purpose, reads a CBSA press release. Travelers who show up at other border points will be refused entry. This post received a score of 62,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. What the fuck is wrong with people who don't check into things before traveling? Hello, we have so many idiots that nobody wants any of us coming anywhere. I assume there is a large overlap between Americans who want to vacation in Canada during a worldwide pandemic and people who don't check on border regulations before departing. That and, I know my rights. Rules only apply to others, but never to M-E-H-E-E-E-E-E. Said Michael Jackson as he illegally moonwalked across the border without a mask. Except I don't believe I've seen any footage of him without a mask in the last decade or so of his life. Vitiligo on his face, and his hand, hence that fashionable single glove he wore. Fair enough for the glove, but I think the mask was more to do with the countless nose jobs. Yeah his nose had pretty much caved in and dissolved about 10 years before he died. Apparently it was in part both a medical issue broken nose from years past that never got fixed plus minor birth defect and a vanity issue trying to make said nose look somewhat passable after having to get it mangled like that. I thought we've all been refused entry. The border into Canada is open to Americans for essential work, transportation, logistics, some transit, like to Alaska, and a variety of other reasons, see, here. There's plenty of semi-trucks shipping goods across the border. Alaska loophole has been pretty much closed. I mean unless the article's missing details sounds like they've made strong suggestions, but they're not actively enforcing it unless local PDs are pulling anyone over with American plates I was just in Squamish today. It's north of one of the crossings and a popular outdoor hiking, biking spot. There was a Utah plate parked at the trailhead of a hike and it had been keyed all up and down the doors. I realize there's no way of knowing why the car was there, but either way people here are not happy about it. With a new system if you don't check in within the amount of time allotted for you to transit and you don't answer when called I believe your license plate will have a bolo put on it. That's what I had been told at least. Sounds accurate. I transited from Alaska to Texas in mid-June. Took me two and a half days to get from Skagway down to Vancouver. Got a call another day or two later from Canada wanting to make sure I was following all protocols and to verify the day I was leaving Canada. The agent was surprised when I told her I was already through Canada and back in the U.S. People get denied entry for DUIs that are 10 years old. Fuck around with this stuff and you'll probably get banned for life. BC is fucking beautiful, Banff and Jasper are as well. I intend on going back when I can. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.